Today we're going to take a look at the Wakita Campgrounds in Hampton Falls. Come and join us. First impressions of Wakita Campground. Wow! It's great. It's a beautiful campground. I love the trees. I love the surroundings. You can camp here from glamping to rustic camping. Wide variety of what you can do. When you first pull in, there's a office to the right and a gate. And stop, get your passcode, check in, make any payments. And then once you go through the gate, it's about a mile drive back up into the campground. You'll pass some, you know, trailer storage, boat storage, maybe one for sale, some utility barns. But then once you get up and over the hill, and it's a steep hill, the campground opens up into this beautiful pine setting. Almost all the roads are paved. Um, there's a few that are dirt and gravel. Uh, those are utility roads and some dirt and gravel back in the uh, wilderness rustic area, I'd say. Some sections have very nice landscaping. Others are more wilderness and some are just kind of a standard campground style. There is a lot of signage throughout the campground to let you know where you're going because it is a very large campground. As a matter of fact, there's almost a total of 400 sites here. All the roads have names and they're well marked. The layout out of the campground is meandering. That means there's all sorts of little loops and circles and uh, trails and roads that just go everywhere. Um, there's no one set pattern. Um, there, I guess you would say there is one main drive that goes from the office all the way straight to the back. The majority of the tree cover is conifers with some deciduous trees mixed in. Yeah, some of the sites are just dirt with uh, pine needles scattered all over them because of course there's lots of pine trees here. And they ask you not to rake up the pine needles because it helps keep the weeds down and keep the dust down. All your sites have a picnic table and fire pit. You know, some sites have power and sewer. So our site had water, power, 30 amp, but there are sites that have 50 amp as well. Also, I think they have like a 20 amp outlet. Um, we had sewer. Some sites do, some sites don't. But there is the dump station. These wilderness sites come with a picnic table and fire pit. And there are single spigots in the area for tent campers. RVs. We saw every possible RV you could imagine in here, from you know your pop-ups to your fifth wheels to your travel trailers to uh, truck campers to you know Class A's, Class B's, Class C's. Yeah, they're all here. The only thing I didn't see was a vintage cruiser. Somebody's got a giant movie screen back there, uh, which leads me to saying that there are a large number of seasonal sites here. I'd say at least 75% of the campground is seasonal. Uh, but there's plenty of sites left over for transients. And the seasonal sites are very well cared for. They're very good looking and manicured. These folks behind me, they're, uh, they're getting ready for Halloween already. And there are plenty of places for people to do tent camping too. The facilities are all very well cared for. They have bathrooms scattered throughout the campground, either in rest areas, rest stations, uh, comfort stations, or just little singles. It's a T-Rex with eggs, at least a skeleton of a T-Rex with eggs for the Halloween time. Bathrooms are very modern, clean. They have shower stalls in the back. They're coin operated, clean. On your way out is the dumpster section. Very clean and neat. Bag to trash only, please. Games and laundry in the same building. The game room. And laundry, too. They have some video games and an air hockey table. An old Super Mario Brothers game. Very nice laundry room. They even have an ironing board. Four washers, four dryers. And this is not the only one on site. There are some others in some of the other rest areas. They have a little mini golf area. It's very cute, well kept. They have a very nice playground for the kids. Big jungle gyms. Swings for the big kids. And swings for little tykes. They have an old school jungle gym. They even have a merry-go-round. That's very old school. 
They have a tennis court or pickleball court. Half court for basketball. Of course they have horseshoes. Right next to the golf course and playground is the training post. It's a little store where you can get firewood, ice, ice cream, camping supplies, food. It's very well stocked. And there's a little picnic area inside. Snack bar too. Upstairs they have some books and games. Lounge areas, including the TV lounge. And a workstation for a Wi-Fi hotspot. Dogs are allowed uh, if you keep them on a leash and of course clean up after them. They've got a very nice dog park here. Little activities for the dogs. Benches for people to sit on, signposts, you know, things like that. Now, there is no pool or river or boating or fishing or anything like that around here for recreation, but you are just a skip, hop, and a jump from Hampton Beach. And that's probably the main reason you come to this campground, is so you can go to the beach. We did. Were there any critters here? Yes. We saw some rabbits uh, and we saw some squirrels. And uh, I've heard that there's a raccoon that has been seen here before. Um, yeah, I heard some birds. Sounded like a screech owl last night. So yeah, there's some critters around. So be careful, don't leave your food out. Any cons to this campground? The only con I have is that there are no dog cleanup stations throughout the park. You have to collect your, carry a bag with you and collect up after your dog and take it to the main dumpsters afterwards or take it back to your site and then take it back and take it to the dumpsters that would be nice to have those extra cleanup stations around the park well that's going to do it for my review for today i hope you enjoyed it if you found it useful give me a thumbs up and until next time we will see you on the streets mm -hmm.